So right now only 25% of the bands are installed and that's how I would like to do the first test. These cans they used to contain sliced pineapple. So what I'd like to try and do is contain the ball after it's left the slingshot. So with only 25% of the bands installed onto the slingshot. I uh, don't really know exactly what's going to happen to this first can. Will it only make a dent? Would it actually uh, penetrate through one side? That ball may not have been far off from actually penetrating that side, but it did not penetrate. I don't think it even made a crack. No, I don't think so. Okay, so that's the first test. The next test will be with 50% of the bands installed. Oh, I had a, had a misfire. I, I didn't drop, a, a ball didn't drop into the area where it should drop into. Huh. Okay, now there's a ball in there. It went in. Okay, so it's it's inside this one. So it almost exited. There is an opening there. Didn't On closer inspection, I find that there's actually a dent in that second can. So somehow it went in. I guess it was close enough. Maybe somehow like that. I'm not sure. Or could it have bounced back into this can? I don't know exactly what happened there. But uh, yeah, so this is from the first test. So that's the dented can from the second test.
yeah, the bands are not all staying in place. Okay, what happened under here? So, in this one, into this one, so the ball is in the second can. The third can does not appear to have damage. So the second can is a dent here. It's actually, it has broken it. It's broken open. So the ball is in the second can. So you compare that to that second test, what happened there? Now the second test, it went into this can and then it made a dent into the second, into the one behind it. And I wasn't sure, now did it bounce back? So the uh, speed of the ball is increasing because now the ball was inside the second can. Got some fresh cans in there. So this is the last of the bands installed, at least as many as this device can hold at this time. So I'm definitely having a problem with some of these bands coming out of the groove. And uh, so maybe Maybe, an, maybe a solution would be to like just make something lightweight, maybe like out of plastic or something that uh, acts as a spacer, you know, and it just stays on the bands. Like, like let's say if the bands would go through that little uh, divider spacer and it, it, something like that. So I think what happened is maybe I didn't pull it back far enough to properly engage the trigger. It was only partially engaged. And then as I started to put band tension on it released and the ball came out and hit my foot. Didn't hurt too bad, but it got me thinking like what happens if this thing lets go and it's, you know, r stretched right out or almost stretched right out. So, he's, so I got a piece of wood there now. There's a lot of a lot of pressure, a lot of tension required. Ooh. So once again, the ball is in the second can, and it doesn't look like it's done more damage to the second can than the, the previous test. Actually, there is, looks like there's no damage on this side. So, In here, out here, and into this can, and I don't see damage on this side. So I'm with, I think I'll try this test again. I'll, I'll put some fresh cans in here again and try this again. Oh, how did the bands? Yeah, bands are coming out of the. Some of them coming out of the pulleys, so out of the grooves.